thanks to all of you subscribers we reached 100 subscribers within a month and this is our first official mail from the youtube creators our bird is going to be this month so we will take this as a gift from you subscribers so thanks to all of you subscribers and you viewers who will change to be subscribers one day well you have given us a big gift so shouldn't we give you a written gift well the written gift is we are going to show you the recipe that one of you subscribers suggested and that recipe is falafel if you want to know more about the falafel stay till the end of the video zayek viewers will you viewers seem to be confused well maybe because i said zayek well what is zayek you may ask zayek means how are you in masri and masri is a dialect of arabic and this is the language of egyptians today's dish is egyptian tamaya you guys might be wondering that i said falafel in the starting of the video in middle east they call it as falafel while in egypt they call it as tamaya still there are few differences between falafel and tamaya falafel are made using chickpeas while tamaya are made using fava beans and also falafel is a bit reddish in color while tamaya is a bit greenish in color now let's get in the process now take 1 cup of fava beans we can't use the fava beans just like this you have to peel it and also break the fava beans in this country they also make something called fool without breaking or peeling these fava beans this is how the peeled and broken fava beans would look like now you have to wash and also soak it in 3 cups of water now soak it for 8 to 12 hours later that same evening now we soaked it during the day time and we are going to prepare it for our evening snacks now it's soaked well we have to grind it before that let's see the ingredients we will need parsley dill leaves coriander leaves we didn't get spring onions so we are using leek leaves but if we did get spring onions we prefer spring onions now take a mixer blender jar and add the 1 cup of fava beans that we soaked for 8 to 12 hours Now let's talk about the origin of this tamaya shall we Tamaya was invented by Coptic Christians Well why they invented it They celebrate Christmas at January 7th and during this Christmas they should only eat vegetarian food but still they wanted a food with the texture of this kofta so they invented this tamaya Now let's get back in the video. Now chop one medium sized onion. Chop it in this size and add it in the mixer grinder jar. Then add 4 cloves of garlic. Now add a quarter cup of leek leaves. A quarter cup of the leaves. A quarter cup of parsley and a quarter cup of coriander leaves or cilantro. We need some more space, so just grind it a bit. Grinding it like this should be enough. Now add two chopped green chilies. and don't add water 
Now grind all of these ingredients into a coarse paste. Now we've grinded it without water. We are going to transfer it to another bowl. To add half teaspoon salt. Half teaspoon cumin powder. One teaspoon pepper. And one teaspoon coriander powder. And at last, add baking soda, two pinches. Adding the baking soda will give your tamaya more sponginess. Now mix all of these well. This batter could be saved for one month, but you have to keep it in a freezer and also take it before one hour, then add a little bit of baking powder. This batter is mixed well. Now there are four types of frying. We'll show you four of them, step by step. The first variation is with sesame seeds. You are supposed to take a small amount of a batter like this and then flatten it using your thumb finger. Now take a plate of sesame seeds and dip the batter in it. Now just drop it in the oil. Heat the oil in medium flame. Keeping the stove in high flame would result in burning the outer layer and keeping the inner layer raw. So don't forget to cook it in medium flame. Once it gets little bit brown, just flip it. Once both the sides become brown, it's ready to serve. Now the second variant. The second variant is with coriander seeds. You have to grind them and make them like this powder and then use the same way to flatten the batter and then press it on the coriander seeds then drop it in the oil. The texture, the shape, the color would be the same but the taste would differ. Now this one right here is cooked. The third variant is a variant that the Egyptians use in their houses. Here they don't use hands a lot, so they prefer using this variant. For this you will need two soup spoons. In the first one, you should take a bit of butter and with the second one, you should make an impression on the first spoon. Then you should take the second spoon and then dip it in the coriander seeds. Now take the coriander seed spoon and then make another impression on the first spoon. This will help you apply coriander seeds on the tamaya. Slide the tamaya in the oil with the other spoon. Sometimes your butter leaves excess water and in this method we are going to see how to squeeze out the water. First you have to take some of the butter in your hand and then squeeze it. Some of the part would come up. You have to pinch that out and then flatten it like the first method. Then you have to dip them in the coriander seeds or sesame seeds. Well, it's your wish. This is the method used in the shops. These are the four types of tamayas. 
If you tried to do this recipe, please comment how it was. And if you enjoyed this video, please like this video and share it with your friends and family. And also subscribe to Twin Bros YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out any of our videos. This is your host CB signing out.